Welcome back. This is Must Know Machine Learning Concepts. This should be specific to the real world. This is going to be section four. So what are our learning objectives in this section? A and N's are artificial, artificial neural networks. We're going to talk about deep learning model anatomy. What are the components of a deep learning model? We're going to talk about hidden layers. This is really important because these hidden layers, we've got our input, right? Input layer, and we've got our hidden layer here. Hidden, hidden layer. And this is the computational layer. And we've got our output layer here, output. And these here, these neurons in this layer are what make up a ANN and eventually a DL or a deep learning model. And we're going to learn that in this lesson. We got the DL model definition. You're going to be able to differentiate between what a ANN is, an ANN versus a deep learning model. There is a difference. We're going to talk about the basic building block of all ANNs plus DLs. And that is the neuron. And we're going to talk about neuron anatomy. Now, I've tried to stay away from canned content because this format, this interactive format, seems to do better. However, this canned content that I have that I created a long time ago, um, I'm not trying to pat myself at the back. I just think it's really good, and it packs a lot of information into a short space. So let's go ahead and take a look at this canned content from my course on Keras. Human brains interpret real-world situations in ways that computers can't. Neural networks were first developed in the 1950s to address this issue. An artificial neural network is an attempt to simulate the network of neurons that make up a human brain so the computer will be able to learn things and make decisions in a human-like manner. ANNs, or artificial neural networks, are created by programming regular computers to behave as though they are interconnected brain cells. Artificial neural networks use different layers of mathematical processing to make sense of the information that's fed. Often, an artificial neural network has anywhere from dozens to millions of artificial neurons arranged in a series of layers. The input layer receives various forms of information from the outside world. This is the data that the network aims to process or learn about. From the input unit, the data goes through one or more hidden units, or hidden layers. The hidden layer's job is to transform the input into something the output can use. The hidden layer is the computational layer. The input and output are not computational layers. They are simply there to accept the data and output that data. In our diagram, the first layer shows the input layer. It's accepting data. It's accepting or being passed two pieces of data. The second layer is the hidden layer. These layers are the computational layers. The last layer is the output layer. It outputs the calculation done by the neural network. And our diagram represents the most basic artificial neural network that can exist. It is a artificial neural network with one hidden layer. All artificial neural networks are composed of artificial neurons. They are not only named after their biological counterparts, but they are also modeled after the behavior of the neurons in our brain. Like a biological neuron, an artificial neuron has several input channels, a processing stage, and an output that can fan into multiple artificial neurons. Let's zoom into this process a little further. How does a neuron process its input? There are three core processing steps. In the first step, a signal comes in and it gets multiplied by a weight value that's assigned to the input. If a neuron has three inputs, then it has three weights that can be adjusted individually. During the learning phase, the neural network can adjust the weights based on the error of the last test results. Step two. In the second step, the modified input signals are summed up into a single value. In this step, an offset called a bias is added to the sum. The neural network also adjusts the bias during the learning phase. At the beginning, all neurons have random weights and random biases. After each learning iteration, these weights and biases are gradually shifted so that the next result is a bit closer to the desired output. This way, the neural network gradually moves towards a state where the desired patterns are learned. In the third and final step, the results of the neuron are calculated and then turned into an output signal. This is done by feeding the result into an activation function. In the last lesson, you learn about the core parts of an artificial neural network. Now, well, the next question you might have is, okay, 
Now I know what a neural network is. What makes a neural network a deep learning model? Well, the truth is, it's still up for discussion. Here's what we do know. We know that a deep learning model is contingent on the number of hidden layers. We call that a hidden layer is a computational layer. We know that a deep learning model is an artificial neural network with X number of hidden layers. The question then becomes, well, what is X? The answer is, we really don't know. But we don't know the exact tipping point that makes a neural network a deep learning model. We know it's contingent on the number of layers, and it's probably more than two or three. All right, so what did we learn? We learned about ANNs. What are artificial neural networks? We learned deep learning model anatomy, and it's always contingent on the what? Hidden layer. The hidden layer determines whether it's a deep learning model or not. And while we don't know the number, safe to assume that plus 10 is probably a deep learning model. DL model definition, again, there we go, plus 10 is probably safe. Anything under that is probably just an artificial neural network. Again, I'm just making this 10 number up because we really don't have a definition of what a deep learning model is. Neurons, we do know that these deep learning models, all of them are composed of neurons, right? They're all neurons, even the input layer, right? This, this input layer here, the data comes in here, that's a neuron. However, the hidden layers, neuron, 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 are the computational layers. That's where the work's getting done. And it looks like complete, so I can't spell computational or just was too lazy to do so. But this is the computational layer. And we talked about neuron anatomy and the different parts. All right. Hope you got some out of this. And thank you. Thanks for watching.